Hi, I'm Sabrina Salvador. I'm going to be representing Mecca. I am going to be showing you how to set up your Galileo scope. There are a total of 31 parts to the whole entire scope that we will that is used, but in this video we will not be using nine of the parts. There are the auxiliary eyepiece barrel halves, and they're the two right here. Um, there is also the auxiliary eyepiece lenses, which is held inside. There's the Barlow lens tube, the auxiliary eyepiece cap, and on the auxiliary eyepiece barrel halves holding it together is a small eyepiece clamp rings. On the instructions it says that there's two of them, but I'm only using one in the video. There's also a V-shaped bases slash stands. I won't be using it in this video. It's basically to hold the whole entire telescope together. There are two main tubes of the telescope and you're going to be using a 1 20 tripod nut to be holding the telescope together. It's also you're going to want to use the pointy part of the nut facing upwards. There is a 50 millimeter glass objective lens and you're going to want to hold it by the rim and there's two parts to it. There's a thicker part of the lens and there's a thinner one it, but it's just one lens altogether. and what you're going to do is you're going to use the thicker part of the lens facing outwards while the thinner one is facing inwards. You don't have to grab the lens by the rim, but it's if you want to be safe, you can use a tissue holding it. You don't want your fingerprints to be on the lens and it's being bad to see. You're going to put it in a slot right there. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the main eyepiece barrel halves. There are two of them. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab a tiny thin eyepiece ring slash field stop. And you're going to put it inside of the little section that it's supposed to be. It's really small and tiny. You're then going to grab small main eyepiece lenses, which is four of them. And what you're going to do is... There's four of them, but there's two kinds, and there are the concave parts, and there's a convex part. Now, the concave is the thicker lens, and the convex is the more thin lens. Um, the concave has, um, on the one side is concave, and the other one is on curved inward on one side and the other one's flat and you're going to put them together and it should be like that and you'll do the same to the other it's going to be side by side where the convex is inside the concave and it should look like that You're next going to be putting it together, but it's going to fall apart. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take one the only small eyepiece clamp rings that I said that we're going to be used in this video. You're going to put it on the uh, smaller side of the main eyepiece barrel half to hold it together and the large main eyepiece clamp ring you're going to be using that on the other side which is has like a plate like feature and it's there's a small and then there's a plate around it and you're just going to be putting it securing making sure that the main eyepiece barrel halves don't fall apart while you're looking at the stars Next comes the focuser tube halves. Now these are really small. They're small. They're a lot smaller than the telescope main tube, 
and the focus or tube halves on one side it has like teeth like and it has like holes and you're going to want to put the main eyepiece barrel on that side of the focuser tube halves and you're going to want to close it but of course you need to secure it making sure that the focuser tube halves don't fall apart so what you're going to do is you're going to grab these small rubber o-rings and you're going to you're going to grab the small rubber O-rings and you're going to wrap it around on one end where they have creases, crease likes, and you're going to just wrap it. And the other one on the same thing. Making sure that your tube doesn't fall apart. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the small main tube clamp ring and you're going to put that through the back of the the focuser tube halves and you're going to put this focusing tube half inside of the smaller part of the main tube making sure that it could slide in and out you're then going to close the main tube, you're going to close it up, but you need to secure it with the big, the large rubber o-rings. So you're going to grab the large rubber o-rings and you're going to slide it all the way down to the middle part where it's being held. And you're going to do the same with the other, making sure that it's secure, that it's that it's not where it could actually fall apart in the middle or fall apart towards the front making sure that it's equally where it's supposed to be you're then going to grab the large lens shade slash dew cap and you're going to put it towards the front which is the larger part of the telescope main tube and you're gonna just slip that on and there you have